Okay, this is after stage one. The one with the most grit. Looks like I got some agates in this one. Take a look real quick here. What do we got here? Ooh, that sure is pretty. Oh yeah, that's a pretty one. We got this piece of uh, what I think is chert. It's looking pretty good. It's a big piece of agate. That's looking pretty good too. Got a little agate right here on this one. I like the way this one's turning out. Look at that. Very nice. Stage one on this little eye agate. Ooh, that one's looking really nice. Ooh, yeah, that's looking really cool. Uh, here we got a little agate here. Doing really nice. Agate on this one right here. Beautiful agate, actually. And I'm just showing you after step one on this batch. Okay, let's get them rinsed off. Let's see what's in here. This looks like my variety batch. Hmm. Piece of epidote. Wow, oh, you know, like that's just beautiful looking. Beautiful looking rock right there. Anyway, this is after stage one on both of these here. Uh, I'm just going to mix these because I believe they're the same thing. I hope so. Oh my gosh, I hope so. Let me see. Yeah, they are. I think they're the same kind of rocks, if I remember right. <laughs> That's the part I don't keep up on too good. And of course, I got the pellets in here. Ceramic pellets. Ugh, my gloves are probably dirty. Um, because just taking the tops off of these, you get black stuff on your hands. I do. Um, it just happens. See the gloves? There's some agate right there. I don't know if it's showing the detail on that. Just little strands of strands of agate running through it. There's the agate on this one. Let's see if it's staying or if it's disappearing. So far it appears to be staying. Okay, this one just got done with step two. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, look at this agate after step two. Oh, amazing. Yeah, that one looks really nice. Okay, let's see what it looks like here. Here's another beautiful piece of unikite. Isn't that pretty? That's a pretty one. Banded Jasper, uh, some Unikite, which is really pretty. Another little piece of Unikite. That's just a piece of quartz. Another piece of quartz. This really needs to be cut. Oh, did it ever smooth out? But there's so much I can do with this, you know, if I start cutting it. So I'll just keep smoothing on it, and then if I get it cut. I'll make some nice slabs and the outside will be all smooth. After one week only of step four polish, I'm going to see how they're doing. Two barrels. And if they're not doing too good yet, they're going to go back in. That's why I did this. You can save your polish. Can't save any of the other grit. Not step one, step two, step three, but you can save your polish and put them back in. So I'm going to dump it in here because I might be saving my polish. Let's see. That polish in there. And a little ice cream bucket. Oh, I'll rinse them in this bucket and save that polish so like I said if they're not good if they're not shiny enough for me they're gonna go in another week 
with the polish I saved. Um, this was my very first water line, water level, whatever you want to call it. Everybody calls them something different. But this is my very first water line agate I ever found. So I lost it for a long time and I found it. So I got it in the tumbler and ooh, look at that shine. She turned out super shiny. I am very happy with that one. And some of the agates in Marquette, Michigan have a soft, almost like sandstone on them. So that'll never, never shine. If it did, I'd be shocked. But the rest of it, uh, especially when you get to the quartz, you'll see the shine a little better. See how that shines, the quartzy part of it. Pretty happy with the way this one turned out, considering all the different material in this particular rock. It is an agate. See how close I can get here. There we go. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way that one turned out. Pretty happy with that one. shine to it. Agate. Here we got a little tiny agate here. As you can see it's got a nice shine to it too. See that? Very nice. Almost looks like an eye there on that one. And then here you can see the lines. Got the agate lines right here. Well, that little bugger turned out pretty cool. I like it. I like that agate. Here we got another nice shiny agate. Again, I could have ground down. See all those little holes in that? But I don't want to risk losing the agate, you know what I mean? Now just look at the shine I got. Just nice. Well, there's another one I am very pleased with. I see it took. It took a shine. I am amazed. lot of agate on that one. The reason I put these gloves on is when they're all polished they're so slippery. You can hold on to them a lot easier with gloves on. Another little shiner. Okay let's look at something else. Here we got a big piece of quartz, possibly smoky quartz. Look at the shine on that one. Really turned out nice. Whatever material that is, look at that, it did not shine. Hmm. I probably would have put this one back in if I would have checked it out a little better, but let's try to get the shine to not shine so much so you can see. That's what it looks like. I just like this. I like that one. I make one blank on what this is. I know what this is. It's what they use for for making arrowheads. Just a real nice shiny quartz. Banded jasper here. Could be dolomite. Pretty sure it's banded jasper. I just don't remember where I found it. That would help me. <laughs> but I can't. I thought was an agate because kind of looks like one. 
but I, I don't think it is. See, it kind of looks like there's something going on here, but... No, I don't think it is. I have found a lot of eye agates in the past, but this one shrunk so much. It's such a bummer. But yeah, that's a little Lake Superior eye agate. She shrink, you can tell I got it in my hand. So tiny. So I another shiny piece of quartz. Look at that shine. Again, and like I said, I do reuse my polish. You can reuse it. I've been doing it for a long time, so don't throw it out. Reuse it. Um, you can add another spoon or something, full another teaspoon, tablespoon to it if you want. Um, you'll even get an even better shine because then you're actually getting more polish per barrel. I want to show you what I use. I use polyplastic. This is step four. This is the final polish. You can buy the kit with step one, step two, step three, step four. All in there. Um, you can buy just the polish if you want. My other, my other little secret to my shiny rocks is, well, I'll go show you. I'll go show you right now. may shock some of you, but here's two of my tumblers, and guess what? All my tumblers, all of them, are Harbor Freight tumblers. And I see one's getting loud right now. That's normally what they sound like. Very nice and quiet. So this one, I'm going to have to see if it needs to have a little uh, oil put on it. Yeah, it is that one that's making the noise. So, and that's usually all it is. You just gotta add a little oil. Um, you gotta do that with your lower tones and all them. Anyway, they do good for me. I have no complaints. The one in the back is actually my oldest one. I just wanted to share that you don't have to spend a fortune. Um, if you get the Harbor Freight Dual, get the Dual. It's only like ten. I don't know, ten fifteen dollars more. And um, I think it has to do with the way you clean them. Um, I use borax after each step. Um, I wash them in borax in these tumblers for probably two, three days. So I get them good and clean and I use that polyplastic tumbling grit polish. Anyway, okay, well thanks a lot for watching and if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.